between this and this yeah so you can say that uh, we need to create that difference. How do we do it in an easy, in, in an easy way and that uh, it would be clear here? So we could go like this, put the zero junction, then come down here. This one is sort of crowded on down there, so I think maybe, and we don't want to cross the lines really, but I think if we bend an element this it's not it's not a problem uh, let's see how do we do it yeah maybe in here there's a lot more space so I'm gonna put the zero right there <coughs> and say v sub 2 minus velocity of the wall is going to be like this right this v sub 2 minus the velocity of the wall which will have to be like like this and don't be afraid to bend this 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 bonds it really does not does not matter at all and in here this what we have in here seems to be consistent this would be v sub 2 minus velocity of the wall where we will attach the other r element that is in there this is like that. What is R sub 1, right? Yeah. And we are done. Now, I... At this point, we can do a step number... We have done this one. Step number 6. This is a, a bit of a dilemma. Because if you really use it in the practical work for computer simulation this is what you would enter into the CAMG software you you do want to allow the computer program to assign the causal marks as you complete this graph so that uh, they will be correct you, you know I, I think right now this this has maybe what would you say it has uh, maybe 20 bonds or 22 or something like that, uh, which is still okay. It's a manageable number. But if you have one that has 100 or 200, then I don't think you should be wasting your time in doing the causal marks. Let the computer program do it for you. And the only reason that that I actually do it with you and do it in this example is so that you understand how to do it um, so that it's not something magic that the program does it for you but really you are in control of it and you know what it's doing it so in in that light we can put the causal marks in here and complete the graph as uh, the computer program should have it so to do that um, well of course in here we could um, to be consistent, you know, this is uh, the difference in here. You could, you could put it this way and on this one too, because this is like this. There you go. This allows also to simplify those. But um, uh, let's just say I put uh, maybe I'll just use the this color in here. We assign to the sources first. This is the causal mark of the source. Then we will go to the other side, right here. When you assign a one junction, um, a w a flow into a one, then the other one has to be like this, has to be an F. Same thing um, in here. You see all this, because this is a one, this will have to be like this, yeah? Um, okay, so, so far, that's as far as we can go. We put the <coughs> one eye in integral form for the very same reason, makes it this like this. And now in here you see you have a zero, but the zero needs one effort in. So this has to be like this. That creates this flow. 
makes it like this which is also an integral form which is which is fine um, and here you have the source of f for this way and then the integral form for the i element makes all the others like this yeah so let's see here you have this tool flows it needs the for here and that makes this like this and then let's go into here again integral form for this i makes this two like this because only one flow in once you have those two flow it needs one effort in, in here makes the other one like that and so far so good for the same process we do it here and that completes it over here everything is cool so you, you this is what we would enter it in to the camp g software and that answers the question of this example so um, i think what we need to do is um let's try to do the same thing for um so we're gonna um, <coughs> we're gonna try a different example now yeah go ahead um would it be acceptable like once you get to the stage to erase the Flow sources because they're like reference. You could. I I don't think um